What's going on, y'all? It's your man, Desert Eagle, and I'm back at you with another video. It's... Uh, I, I, I just... Oh, my God. Oh, man. I... <laughs> I don't even know how to start this video. <laughs> oh boy. All right. All right. Let, let's try this again. All right. <laughs> it's. Uh, I can't even make this up, man. I, I can't make this up. Oh boy. <laughs> It's like the amount of disappointment. It, it, all right. Uh, okay. Let, let, oh, boy. All right. All right. Let, let's just start this over. Let, let's just. All right. Okay. Let me start this off, okay? It's not really going to be so much as congratulations to the Patriots because this Patriots team was really not all that good. Yet, but let me also say this, okay? Let me also say this. In my weekly picks video, I did pick the Patriots to win. Not necessarily because they were going to be the dominant team. And it's like, I tried to have a video out, you know, talking about this game, you know. How could we how could we win this game, you know? I tried to do that. How, how could we win this game? Or, you know, at least giving up, how do you say, my keys to victory? Or at least what we need to do to win this game, you know. A lot of mistakes we've made playing against the Bears, you know, we can't do against the Patriots. I did say if us beating the Bears, you know, the effort that we put in, if this was the best we 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 had, then we're not going to have a chance against the Patriots. I did say that, okay? And also in my weekly picks, I've said, you know, yeah, the Patriots did not really play any good teams, you know, other than the Bills, who was actually turned out to be one of the worst winning uh winning teams in the NFL, you know, that and also they real season didn't really begin until they played the Ravens who dominated them. But other than that, they played the Jets. They played the Giants, the Browns, the who else? Uh, uh, majority of them being bum ass teams, you know, the Dolphins. But in the end, I said this. Due to all the mistakes that we've made, you know, several locker room issues and all of that, you know, lack of communication, lack of chemistry, just everything. We're not the Ravens. I've also pointed out there, but it's like in the end, I did say as an Eagles fan, we had a shot. We, we actually got a shot to win this. I just wish I had the time to really, you know, to to make this, re, you know, this video just talking about how we could actually win this game. But unfortunately, Eagles fans, my son had a cold. Not only that, he also had a fever. And this was actually sometime, you know, soon after, or maybe it was kind of in the process after I made, you know, my weekly picks you know little aj he had a cold at first you know but then soon after he had a fever so my prior my priorities was right there so so i just say you know it's a healthy let's just get this win but this game was the complete opposite of what i expected <laughs> 
It's like I wasn't really worried about the offense. It was more like the defense. It was more like the defense. I was expecting Tom Brady to shred our defense. I was expecting our defense not to look so good at all. But they actually turned out to play a lot better than I thought. They played a whole lot better than I thought they did. And by me saying that, by me saying that, it's like I wasn't necessarily concerned about the offense. I mean, despite, you know, us not having, um, you know, Alshon Jeffrey, you know, playing, which is a big loss on our wide receiving core. I mean, not so much to the point that, you know, we would have guaranteed loss or anything. I mean, we can win games, you know, without, you know, with or without Alshon Jeffrey, but our offense still has a big difference. But at the same time, it's not so much that. It's more like the scheme, you know, which the scheme, I'm going to get into that very soon. But I, I just want to know what, what happened to the play calling? Seriously. What happened to that? What happened to J.J. Arcega Whiteside's confidence? And yeah, we didn't even use him. What was all this? He was talking about how he was going to, um, you know, surprise. He was going to shock everyone. Because a lot of people was not counting on him. Well, fans wise. And he was saying, you know, he's going to get he's going to be really good this game. But. It's like, where was that? At? Like, why didn't we use him? What happened? And, I, and a lot of people are going to say, oh, you know, he, he he's not good. He's trash. He's the busting, you know, and this, that, and the third. And, of course, you know, people are going to compare him to DK Metcalf, you know. Obviously, he, he, you know, of course, he was bound to have much more numbers because, one, Seattle need a wide receiver. And this other person they kept comparing, he was a starter as well. I think, I can't remember who he played for, but. <sighs> but of course, you know, DK Metcalf is going to have, the, is going to have, you know, the, the, the energy he's, he's, he's having right now because Seattle needs a starting wide receiver. He needs a starting wide receiver. Us, on the other hand, we had Alshon Jeffrey. We had Deshaun Jackson. Both of them is hurt. Nelson Aguilar, you know, next one to be reliable, except he's not looking good him damn self. And, and when he dropped that, you know, that potential game-winning touchdown, it's like I'm not necessarily mad at him on this play. Of course, being as though he has a history of dropping passes, but I can't be mad at him in this one because he was in the weirdest position to catch the ball. You know, you know, his, both his his elbows his what was way past his shoulders the way he was catching that ball. So it was like, and being as though Carson Wentz was getting pressure, you know, an all out blitz, it's like I can't be mad at Nelson Aguilar. I put that morally on the offensive line. The offensive line was atrocious, especially after Lane Johnson got hurt. You know, with a concussion. So it's like. I'm just going to say this, OK? Mike Grow, this, 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 this scheme, this play call of him and Doug Peterson. I'm, I'm just going to say this. All right. I'm just going to say this. When the offseason eventually gets here, a lot of moves need to be made. OK. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say so much of the offensive line, even though we did look very atrocious. But the scheme, you know, a lot. A lot of things needs to be done. Okay, a lot of things needs to be done. This this wide receiving core. See, the very moment I heard, you know, from Doug Peterson that, you know, this the scheme he had specifically for Alshon Jeffrey and Deshaun Jackson, where he had to cross out majority of the plays that was mainly used for them two that's when I knew we was fucked later on in the season 
That's when I knew we was fucked later on in the season. Because if you made plays specifically for Alshon Jeffrey and Deshaun Jackson, that's when I knew we was fucked. All them plays that Doug Peterson has programmed specifically for them two should have been used for everybody. We're talking about um, Nelson Aguilar, J.J. Osega Whiteside, or any other receivers on the team. I can't even think about everybody else right now, okay? I can't even think about everybody else right now. Miles Sanders, since we like using him, you know, for screens and all of that. Jordan uh, Howard, you know, everybody on the team. Not just for two receivers. So that right there was what hit us right there. The play calling, I knew it was a big fucking mistake. It was a huge fucking mistake promoting Mike Groh as an offense coordinator. I've been saying that for the longest. I'm not going to say so much about Jim Schwartz. I'm not going to say so much about Jim Schwartz this game because the defense actually looked play. They actually did everything they could this game. They did everything they could this game. It was to the point it was field goal, field goal, field goal, and then a fake pass touchdown along with a two-point conversion. Okay, we were down by seven points. But there were so many times when this game could have been handed to us on a silver platter, yet the offense could not do a goddamn thing. That's the problem with this team. It seems at one point the offense plays very well, but the defense plays atrocious. Or it's the other way around. The defense plays well, this offense plays very atrocious. Well, that goes to show you there is a problem above and beyond the offense and the defense. It's the coaching. It's the coaching. This team cannot seem to play consistent, you know. It's always one side of the field that is very non-existent in several games. So you know what I'm going to say is this is a team we're going to have to rely on throughout the rest of the season. And, it's, and the sad truth is that there's a shot the division can still be won. Yes, of course, the Cowboys seem like they're going to win because they're still beating bum-ass fucking teams. I mean, I did pick them. To beat the Lions, a uh, Matthew Staffordless Lions, you know, nothing to be impressed with there. But of course, I knew they was going to take the lead there. All right, but of course, it seems like they're going to win because they are four and zero in the division, and the Eagles only played two teams in the division. Okay, you know, losing one to the uh, to the Cowboys, which is a, which is critical right there, and beating the Redskins. You know, we still got to play the Giants twice. We still got to play the Cowboys one last time, and we still got to play the um. The Redskins. But <sighs> this game could have been won. <laughs> I didn't see how prior to this, but this game could have been won. But the offense did not look so good. Carson Wentz held on to the ball way too long. Way too long. Way too long. But that's always been Carson Wentz's issue. But it's like this time, I don't know if I want to say so much as it's because the wide receivers could not get open. But then again, Carson Wentz was not scrambling around. So that's the problem right there. But the wide receivers could not get open. The offensive line did not do a good job as far as protecting Carson Wentz. The list goes on, but then there are times when Carson Wentz also missed wide open receivers or players. Let's just say players because, you know, not some, we can't rely so much on the wide receivers, but there are times when Carson Wentz has missed opportunities. Let's just say that. Sure, Carson Wentz is not the only player in the NFL that does that, but it's like, That's the thing he's got to work on, though. He's got to open his eyes all over the field, not just not just downfield. Don't don't try to be some kind of hero trying to, you know, make a play that can't be made. You know, sometimes you just got to throw the ball away. OK, you got to throw the ball away. It's going to come to the point, And Tony Romo said it best. And you know what's crazy? It's like it sucks that I'm gonna to have to say this because Tony Romo is a former was a former cowboy, okay? And I hate and I and I hate this person being as though 
He's given us a lot of issue, a lot of problems whenever we went against him. He was an eagle slayer, but I'm going to call it how it is. Tony Romo is hands down the best commentator in the NFL. I would gladly put him over Troy Aikman, Al Michaels, or Chris Collinworth's fucking trash ass. A lot of a lot of commentators in the NFL. I put Tony Romo out there. You know why I think Tony Romo is the best there is? Is because not only he commentates, but he analyzes. He analyzes. He calls a lot of plays how it is. So that being said, when he said that Carson Wentz is going to watch the film room and, and just, he's just going to, I can't really say it all, but Tony Romo hit the nail in the head when he said that. So that says enough right there. But all I'm going to say is this offense needs a lot of work. This team needs a lot of work. Lots and lots of work. But that's just what we've been dealing with the entire fucking season. <laughs> and it's not even so much because they were the better team. It was more likely... Oh, check this out. Wow, that's a nice designed uh, Honda Accord. Wow. But it's not even so much because they were the better team. They were another team that could have simply been beaten. But whatever, man. It's like if we can't even beat this team, the Patriots, who in my opinion, I don't need I still don't even respect as a winning team. I mean, if they beat the Ravens, it would have been ten times better. Ten times, you know, well, I'm not saying ten times better, but I would respect the Patriots a lot more if they beat the uh the Ravens. But they don't really look like that team, you know. Uh, you know what? Ne never mind. I even say that because no matter how good this Patriots team is, no matter how good or bad they are, they always end up in the Super Bowl. You know, a team. You know, the Chiefs look like that team to go to the Super Bowl. The Raiders might look like the team to go to the Super Bowl this year, but we all know it's going to be the Patriots in the end because that that's just whatever. But if we can't even beat this Patriots team. Then nine times out of ten, we're definitely not going to beat the Seahawks. Definitely not going to beat the Seahawks. Because the Seahawks looks like the real fucking deal. They look like the real deal. Maybe it can change. Maybe they can prove me wrong. I really don't know. But all I'm gonna say is, man. All I'm gonna say is. <sighs> Something's got to be done because this is not the team I, I really don't <laughs> want to rely on. This lack of chemistry, this terrible play calling. This is not, I just don't see, I'm not seeing too much from this team right now. I really am not. But maybe it can change, but they need to get the fuck together, man. That, that's just all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. The, the, this Patriots team was not good at all. Tom Brady, I can't remember when was the last time Tom Brady went through a game without even scoring a touchdown. Yeah, we still didn't even. It's like, if we held down Tom Brady, it's like, we actually would have won the game. But no, the defense did everything they could. But the offense was, was atrocious. Play calling, Carson Wentz, holding the ball for too long. Offensive line, playing like fucking trash. Just a whole lot going on and, and you know what that's all i'm gonna say this, this team all i'm gonna say is we're five and five right now you know it's better to be better to be five and five than to be what two and seven or not one and nine what the fuck ever that that's all i'm gonna say on to the next week you know against seattle and uh let's just see what the fuck happens that's all i'm gonna say